All right, we are playing some Tour 6, trying to uh, get the city park holes for the upcoming festive tournament, but we're recording any hole that we get to that we don't already have in our inventory. So we're just kind of playing them up and posting some videos. If I post a better one, I'll... But some of these holes I haven't played in a long, long time, so we're just going out and playing them and talking about the holes. What do we got here? We got a Juniper Point, hole six, par four. Six, four. What do we have here? I can't remember any of the holes. <laughs> All right. If you're going to lay up on this shot, you have got to lay up way back here. Um, you can hit through these trees now. You used to not be able to do that, but you can hit through those trees. And you can get pretty close to the green up there. What you don't want to do is actually hit through this gap so far that you actually end up on the green. You want to be a little shy. So we're 4-6, so we're almost two and a half rings. Extra miles, 2.1 per ring. So we pulled it a little bit too far to the right, but that should be fine. We're trying to squeeze through that gap and get right up into that area right there. And now we're in our short iron range. And we're probably going to be somewhere in our mid short iron. Maybe even men. And this is a super makeable eagle. Now if you go through the trees, you can end up right out in this area here and it's even easier. You're going to be using your wedge to get on. But what you don't want to be is down here on the bottom on this green. Uh, there is a hill that goes right in this area right here and you cannot get from the bottom to the top of that hill in one putt. More than likely, if you find yourself in that situation, it's better to try and putt yourself off the green and get on the fringe so that you can have a shot because if you try and make it up it could just roll back down and then you can't make the next shot our opponent did an overpowered shot and hit good to the left that's not good but they smoked right through it Now they don't have as good a shot with their long iron because their angle is coming through here so they're going to have to uh, deal with that fringe area. So there's max club out there, there's min club, so we're right at minimum club. The minimum club with this is 2.2 .2 per ring. That's how I play it. We want to put a little teeny bit of backspin on it just to flatten it out a little. So we're at 2.2, there's 6.6. .6. We're gonna do a full three ring pull just cause we are dealing with headwind. So that gives us just a little extra. Isn't it perfect? Going right at it. That's what I'm talking about in the hole. Eagle, that's the, the shot that you're looking for on that hole is to give yourself that short iron shot and it's a very eagleable hole. But you have to work the numbers on your short iron. Um, I know the numbers that are in the apps and, and if you go to Golf Clash Notebook and you look for the numbers for your, for your short irons, they're different and you have to get comfortable. For me, my short iron, I shoot it, it's a 1.1 at max club, I shoot 1.1, 1.9, 2.2. 2. And what that equates out to is I do 75% for half and I'm doubling it up for minimum. And those numbers have worked for me for a long time. So I'm really comfortable with them. But you have to find the numbers for your clubs that you're comfortable with. 